Hey there, it's Laura here from makingcardsisdone.com and in this week's Saturday STEM Day video, I'll be creating a fun cherry blossom cart with goodies from the tongue. So in today's video, I'm using the Wild Cherry Blossoms stamp set from the Tom to create a really nice sequin shaker cart. So I'm going to start out with some Nina Solar White cardstock and I'll be stamping the cherry blossoms to this white paper. I'm using a couple of different inks. I'm starting out with the Soft Amethyst color, which is a gorgeous color. And I'm using ink pads from the ton. These are my favorite inks on the market because I just love the colors and the quality. Next I'm stamping some um, more cherry blossoms with the Arctic Sky ink from the ton. I really like this color because it's such a... It's like a blue but it also has this touch of purple to it which I just really like. Next I'm stamping some blossoms with Soft Orchid ink from the ton. And then I'm going to bring in some soft pink with the Rose Quartz ink from the Tom. This is probably my most used um, ink pad. Then finally I'm using a fifth color which is Ballet Slippers. This is a really soft um, purple hue. It's kind of pink but it's also kind of purple. It's really nice, nice color. And then finally, I'm just going back in with that ballet slippers color um, just to fill up some gaps here and there. And it's okay that these uh, flowers overlap because it just it's just really pretty in my opinion. Then it's time to stamp the inside of these flowers. Here I'm using Iris Blooms to stamp the inside of the soft amethyst flowers. Then I'm using Cali Blue ink for the arctic sky flowers then for the soft orchid flowers i'm using the orchid crush ink pads from the tongue next for the rose quartz flowers i am using soft garnet ink and then finally for the ballet slippers flowers i'm using hollywood star to stamp the inside of these lovely cherry blossoms so once i finish stamping this piece i'm going to use a circle die to cut a circle out of this pattern paper or this stamped pattern paper um, because I will be creating a sequin shaker card. So I like to make uh, sequin shakers with the fuse tool from We Are Memory Keepers. So I'm using some of their fusible plastic sheets and I just folded that in half to create, an, to create a nice crease. And then I'm just going to cut that a tiny bit smaller. So in the meantime, I let my fuse tool heat up for about five minutes or so and then I can easily use that matching ruler to create my little sequin shaker pocket. So I'm just going to leave the top open since I'll be using that to fill up the actual shaker. So this is just a really easy and fast way to create a fun shaker cart. I'm filling up my sequin shaker with the peony sequin mix from the Tom. And I'm just going to mix um, this mix, so I'm going to mix this sequin mix with some of their glass slipper sequins and I'll also be using some clear uh, flower sequins. So you can find links to all of these products in my video description below or if you're watching this video on my blog then you can find a supply list at the end of my blog post. So once I um, filled my sequin shaker I'm going to close it all up by just fusing, with a, by fusing the top. So there you have my little sequin shaker. I'm going to stamp a sentiment from the basic label stamp set from the Tom with some of the um, noir ink. So this is just a true black dye ink. So I'm going ahead and, I, and stamping that reading onto some white cardstock and I'm going to trim that down with my Fiskars sure cut. And I'm making sure to leave a white edge around this greeting just for some extra interest. So now that I, that I have all of my pieces ready for this cart, I can start building it. So I'm using some ADG to add some adhesive to the back of my stamped pattern paper. And that way I can adhere my little sequin shaker to that paper over there. I'm using some foam adhesive to adhere this piece to a standard size note cart that I cut out of some Nina Solar White cardstock. And I'm adhering my sentiment banner with some foam adhesive. 
And I'm positioning my little sentiment with my EK Success tweezers just to make sure that I have it straight on there. So that's it for this week's Saturday STEM Day card and video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.